Ozzy in St. Petersburg, Florida writes to me, Paul, why do your FR30 speakers have four woofers, each for the bass sound, when a subwoofer only has one woofer? Why four, and in a sub, why one? It's a great question. And before I answer it, I want to apologize for this. It, you know, our PS Audio listening rooms are, are sometimes in a state of turmoil. And I hate it because people come here for tours and they look and they go, ah, what's happening? You'll notice back here, the corner traps are gone. The cables are on the ground. Nothing is connected. Well, my lovely wife, Terry, has decided to redecorate. She wanted to take those corner traps and get them painted and get new upholstery on them. Or I don't know if upholstery is fabric on them. And it's a very special kind of fabric that we have to use for sound purposes. So <laughs> I'm shooting this video on a Sunday. Tomorrow, Monday, comes the new stuff. So I probably should have waited a day, but hey, you're here for the ride, right? <laughs> this is what we do. All right, why four woofers? Well, the very simple reason is in a subwoofer, if you picture it, it's usually a large box, a squat box this big, and it can have a 15 inch woofer because you need that size of woofer to get the kind of base that you want. Or maybe it's even got an 18 or a 12. But we need in this speaker, in the FR30, because this speaker goes down as low as the subwoofer does. This goes down to like 23, 24 hertz, right? So in order to do that, we use four woofers, which is the equivalent, I think these are eight inch woofers. So I think it's the equivalent of like a 15 or an 18 inch woofer. I, I, I never remember. But these combined give you the performance of, let's just say a 15 inch woofer, yet they are in a narrow cavity, okay? Why do we care about the narrowness of the speaker? Because of this. If this baffle was big enough to have a 15 inch woofer, you would have all kinds of problems on the mid-range and the tweeter, things that you don't want. So when you build a full range loudspeaker, you have to make sure all the drivers are taken care of. So we start with the mid-range and the tweeter and build a cabinet around those so that those project the way we want. You don't have too much baffle, which changes the frequency response. And this is this, this dimension, all of these angles are very carefully engineered by our speaker designer, Chris Brunhaver. So you start there and then make that perfect so you get everything above, say, 100 hertz, perfect, okay? Then you need bass. So this is what you have to work with, and you add the appropriate number of woofers, passive radiators, whatever you need to get the bass, but this is primary, and that's why we did that, okay? Thanks, and next time we're here, you'll see all the new stuff that Terry did. I think it's gonna look really good. All right, thanks for the question. Take it easy. Talk to you later.